Hello. Got something through the post today. I placed an order with the Black Swan shop, which I believe is a Scottish based tobacconist. And um, only I placed the order yesterday and the order came through today, so very good service. And uh, here's the package, which I'll open up. Uh, bought a few things. And, uh, I'll just show those to you now. So, I was saying, um, I believe in my last video that I needed to get another pipe to dedicate uh, to any blends with Latakia in because currently I do have a pipe that I use for um, blends with Latakia but uh, it's quite clogged up with cake so I got hold of one of the senior pipe reamers um, the ones that look a little bit like uh, Doctor Who's sconic, sonic screwdriver. I haven't watched that in years. Um, so I'll give this a go. Uh, feels very well made. Much, um, much more solid and weighty than I'd uh, anticipated. But I'll uh, get that to the uh, Parker London Briar and um, just to ease up some of that cake build up because it's really quite excessive um, now to the point where I'm beginning to just begin to worry about smoking it now um, and this looks like it's going to be the uh, pipe that I ordered it is. This is a rat ray pipe, and this is, as I just said, um, I bought this because I need another pipe to dedicate to blends with Latakia because I. I would say that um, Balkans, um, so-called English blends, um, and uh, they make up the bulk of what I smoke these days. And I only have one pipe that I specific specifically dedicated to smoking Latakia-based blends. So this will become another really nice presentation. I've not received a pipe before. That comes in such a nicely presented box. There's a sleeve of the box showing some sort of Scottish Glen with old Gary written on it, which is I believe the name of the tobacco that they produce. But they also do a range of pipes. Lovely sort of felt, um, almost sort of suede and a pouch. Rat Ray's pipes are made from the finest quality briars and are available in many beautiful classic shapes. They are crafted with all the care and know-how of the world's oldest pipe companies. It's just a sort of business card, I suppose. Nice addition. With pipes I've bought in recent years, I've not, I, I've not noticed as much attention to detail. Maybe Peterson um, could compete with it, but they're not quite. The quality of this whole package is is better than I remember from when I bought my Peterson pipe. So this is a Rat Ray's Old Gary shape number six.
here it is. A semi bent bulldog with a black stain and a sandblast finish. Now I've said in previous vid videos that I prefer pipes with a um, smooth finish but I don't really have any um, sandblast or rusticated pipes, one or two maybe and I, I sort of felt as though I was missing something from my collection. This is quite a beautiful pipe um, it's got a smooth rim to the bowl which has been polished up to bring out all of the grain and a smooth uh, sort of face to the, one of the sides of the shank it says Rat Ray or Gary the number six really good draw I can't say for sure but I believe this is an acrylic stem and uh, the air hole is drilled nice and centrally and hits the bottom of the bowl this bowl isn't pre-carbonized like um, many pipes have had so I'll have to um, do that myself and it takes a 9mm filter I don't usually smoke pipes with a filter so I bought this reducer which I'll just test Let's see if it will fit in there actually I'm having problems fitting that in hmm it's got this sort of um, rubber ring on it there, which I think helps keep it in place. But I would say that I'm going to struggle. Oh, maybe not. Oh, so, it doesn't affect the draw too badly. Yep, so you can reduce any filter pipe if you prefer non-filtered smoke. I just find filters do take a bit from the smoke and as I'm not somebody who smokes um, all the time I don't think it's so necessary oh, it's a really beautiful pipe, I'm very happy with this um, clenches nicely and it has a um, It's a tactile feel to it. Oh, I'm really happy with this, really, really happy. Um, in case I didn't mention it earlier, this is an open L knife. Uh, bought that in a market in France. They're quite common and quite, well, very reasonable for the quality. Very sharp, useful little knives which are foldable. So, reducer and a pipe and a reamer. And I couldn't resist, whilst uh, placing the order, just to order a couple of tobaccos I've really been wanting to try. We have here, all three are from JF Germain. We've got some brown flake, 1820 flake, which is being compared by many to the, uh, the famous Esoterica Penzance and rich dark flake um, which I've heard many good things about and I have actually heard people compare this to another esoterica blend I believe it's uh, Stonehaven perhaps I could be wrong though just give it a smell wow oh my god wow I should just show you this look, look at that That and the, and the smell. God, oh, I wasn't going to um, get these out, but my God, that is um, that's quite special. 
I, I'm not even going to begin to describe the smell of that. I don't think I've smelled a pipe tobacco quite like that. Perhaps a long time ago, I, I smoked um, some of McBaron's um, HH, Old Dark Fire. But this is um, sweeter. It's almost like berries. But a sort of woody... Oh, well, I'm, I'm probably going off track a bit here, but now I think I should probably open these up and let you know what I see. So this is their brown flake. I think this is... Um, yeah. This is a... Uh, oh, much more delicate a flake, this. This is um, almost a bit crumbly. God, and that's totally different. This, this um, is slightly reminiscent of a cigar. Um, but isn't neatly pressed like the other flake. This is um, much more crumbly. I wouldn't say a crumble cake or anything. It's definitely a flake, but it's broken up. But then uh, these are all bulk tobaccos, so this could be the way they're stored, you know, that causes it. Like that. Um, I've only got small samples of each one. Um, about that. Uh, yeah, just um, small sample packs because I wanted to try these three. And the last one is the 1820 flake, um, which is um, in appearance very similar to Penzance. It's this crumbled. Yeah, this is a crumble cake. I don't know whether you can see this. It smells extremely similar, but in appearance it's got more light coloured tobacco than I remember Penzance having. I've smoked a sample of Penzance that I was uh, kindly gifted. I think I mentioned that a bit of a while ago. But it's all gone now. Smoked it all up. Wow. So, I've got some fun to be having. A new pipe, the much needed pipe reamer, and three sample tobaccos to try. Um, yeah, very exciting. So, and a really good service from the uh, Black Swan shop. Very good indeed. Uh, literally, as a, yesterday afternoon I placed an order, and early this afternoon, I received it. And all I paid for was just your standard Royal Mail first class shipping, which um, just cost me a couple of pounds. Very, very good service. I'll, I may use them again. I thought I'd just share something else with you because I've forgotten to share it. Um, I received something a little unusual for Christmas from my grandmother, who's um, always been a backer of my. Uh, my, inset, my eccentric use of the pipe. Um, she herself, an ex-pipe smoker, she gave me this for Christmas. Now this is this is a pipe. It's made it with a briar bowl and then some sort of stem there and uh, I think possibly an ivory or bone mouthpiece. It looks quite old, almost, well, my grandmother told me she suspected it was Chinese but I haven't seen anything um, that suggests it is. It's called, it, on one side of the bowl is pressed the the uh, part of the writing is gone. It's the Tyrolean, the Ty Tyrolean, Tyrolean, and then it says rain made. Rain spelt as though the reign of a king or a queen. And then on this side it says Briar in the old fashioned spelling, the Briar, uh, B R U Y E R E, and then it's Guarantee, a Briar Guarantee. So it's a briarwood bowl. But 
What an unusual little pipe. It's got a wind cap built in. And it's definitely been smoked at some point. I think uh, to smoke this pipe you'd, or to fill this pipe you'd take, remove the bowl and fill it like that before twisting the bowl on. Um, but a very unusual little thing, I think my grandmother picked it up in a, just a little corner shop. But, um, and there was obviously some string once attaching the bowl to the, to this piece here, which connects the sort of shank of the pipe. I don't know what you'd call this, but I suppose you'd hold it from there. Anyway, I'd, I'd just never seen anything like it. Um, so if anybody out there who has more knowledge than I do of these sort of things has any idea what this this is um, or where it has been made, well, just let me know. Oh, hang on. When I said rain made, I was missing. It says foreign made. Now, I know that um, in England many years ago, uh, we used to stamp things either made in England or we used to stamp them foreign. This is says f foreign made. It's just the F and the O were very faint. So it's not made, it's not from the UK. But goodness knows where it was made. I mean, I, I, Anna, I, I have no reason to think that this wouldn't smoke quite well. Um, I'll clean it up and give it a go. And it's obviously been smoked before. But I mean, is this was this built as a gimmick, or was this built as the genuine article? Was this was this made to be a um, a functioning smoking pipe? I don't know. Thought I'd share that with you and um, the contents of my latest order. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope to get another video up when I can, and I hope you're all very well. Thank you. Bye.